and Brad, the two most famous physical therapists on the internet. Hi folks, I'm Bob Schrupp, physical therapist. Brad Haney, physical therapist. And we're the most famous physical therapist on the internet. In our opinion, of course, Bob. Today we're going to talk about the big lie Ooh. about flat feet and custom arch supports. This is an updated uh, video. We did this before, but we're going to do it a little bit better this time. Yep. We're going to update Guaranteed. and get things ready to go. By Here the way, go. if you're new to our channel, please take a second to subscribe to us. We provide videos on stay healthy, fit, pain-free, and we upload every day. Also, we are always giving something away. Go to bobandbrad.com and go to the giveaway section, and you'll find out that we are now giving away a couple of these stretch easy. Uh, what would you call that? Uh... Uh, like an aid, right? <laughs> a stretch aid. It's for stretching out your heel cord. I'll show you. Hold yeah. on to that one spot. I'll hold on to that. Brad's yeah. going to show. It's really a really cool nice. device. It Actually, is. really good for stretching hamstrings. Yeah. We're gonna, if you look back, we did a, a video on how to use this for stretching your entire lower extremity. Right. So, yep. All right. You can find that also on Facebook.com, uh, Bob and Brad. Or if you want a short version of us, go to Instagram and Twitter where we got a 60 second version of our program. All right, let's Brad, let's start, let's get started. Okay, flat feet. Everyone hears the term and they get, oh, you've got to get custom arches, go get fitted. You know, you can go to this doctor or this store, they have them. And you know, three to five hundred dollars later, yeah, sometimes they work. And you know, we're talking about our experience as well as our the research we've done scientifically. It's a lot of money to add for a guess whether or not it's going to work or not. You right, know I mean? exactly. So we'd rather have you try the cheaper or less expensive option right. first. Yeah, I, you so. know, if you got three dollars $500, you don't really... Yeah, you just like to throw your money away and burn it. Right, right. Like, you just don't know because we have people, Bob and I have both had people come in. They've had their custom arches or three $500 ones, and they're in the closet yeah. because they don't work. Yeah. And then we try and correct the things. Then we and, try to do other things instead. Um, yeah. I mean, I, the only thing I would say, Brad, is maybe if you try an off-the-shelf pair mm -hmm. and they work really well, and then you want to have something permanent, right. then you might spend yeah, the money. Right. Would, you, I, would you agree with that? I would. I remember I had custom arches made by a chiropractor when I was in my 20s before I knew anything about this. And uh, I had a back problem. And he said, oh, well, your back problem was from your feet, which I know now it wasn't. I was just lifting something really heavy with really bad back mechanics. But he sold them. My insurance paid for it. I'm sure there was some influencing there and sure. why they were made. Anyways, I, I wore them for a while. And then you got rid of them. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. So let's let's carry on. Flat feet. Let's let's show some people the difference between some of the normal or a high arch versus a flat foot. So all right, we'll do mine first. Bob mine. happens to be. I've got high arches. Right. So if you you know point things out, Brad, yeah. you're looking for your pen, aren't you? Yeah. So we're gonna look right here. Right so, here. Look at this. I can put my whole hand in that. And there's no weight on it right yet, there. but I'll go ahead and put weight on it. Right. And it doesn't really move. He's got a pretty rigid foot. Yeah, I got a rigid it. foot. Um, and, and that's a whole different story. So I don't need an arch support. No. By any means. Yeah. You so, might need something to cushion, possibly. That's exactly possibly. right. I, might, I need a cushioned shoe. Right. So, so now we have a, a volunteer here from the audience. Come on in, Ryan. <laughs> from the audience. He, he happens to have. This happens to be Brad's nephew, Ryan. So. Right. Say hi, Ryan. Yeah. Hello. <laughs> and uh, Ryan, what's what's today? What's so special about today? Oh, it's my birthday That's today. That's right. Oh 15, my gosh. Yeah, 15 my, years old. My brother-in-law's birthday, too. Oh, really? Maybe we should call him up and they can chat. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> Let's get a Now, look at Ryan's foot. Big difference from Bob's. If you look in here, there's a there's a gap there. He's got some arch, but now put some weight on there, Ryan, and look how it flattens out. Yeah. And now I can't even get my finger in there. So that's a real key to a diagnosing a flat foot is non-weight bearing versus weight bearing. How much does it flatten? Now, the thing is, is go ahead, put some weight through there again. The tendons, we've got the Achilles tendon, the posterior tib. We've got another of uh, other structures that get stressed with that flatten. So every time that Ryan runs and puts weight through there, those tendons can be irritated over many repetitions if you're going to go run five miles or whatever, and that can develop problems anywhere from tendonitis, uh, hip, which, yep. oh, we forgot about the yeah, rotation. It turns the knees. Yep. Yeah, go ahead, put weight through there. The tibia rotates this direction, which can throw the kneecap, the whole knee joint can be thrown off, as well as the hip, and yep. you can get hip 
or knee pain, or like we mentioned, back pain, uh, all because of this. Yep. It so it starts from there. You have it to have it a does good need to, you know, oftentimes it needs to be addressed, but do you need to get custom? Right. This is our options. Oh, wait, but there's more, Bob. Okay, tell us, <laughs> Brad. So I did mention we did some research. I did find uh, a couple, more than a couple articles. I picked out two of them. One was the, the British Journal of Sports Med in 2015. They took 140 subjects. Half of them had custom orthotics. The other half had sham or right. non-custom. And they found out there was uh, no notable difference with the custom versus the, the sham or the non-custom orthotics. There was another, stu another study by the Journal of Athletic Training in 2011. Uh, they concluded there was no difference in the results if you had custom or across the counter. And I've done orthotics. I've done the research on this in the past too, Brad, right. and, and pretty much they all said the same thing. Right. It, it was, it, it's all they it's all, they will last longer. Sure. Though, generally a oh, custom yeah. one. Right. And, and so, but if it's not helping, who cares how soon if they're last sitting in the closet. Yeah, they're just sitting in the closet. Right. Yeah. So we can look at we're gonna bring your foot up there again. There's there's three options that we, we have here. There's more than that, but three common options. You can if you go to the store, you go online and you look and you just see one of these that's relatively flat, but they're nice and squishy. Uh, let's put your foot on there, Ryan. And there really is no support here in the arch. Yeah, this is more just a cushion. This would be maybe something for me because right. this would, be, would cushion my shoe. For example, yeah. if you work on a concrete floor right. all day long and you need some cushion, this is a kind of But insert. you can see he can flatten out here. It really doesn't help at all. I mean, look at that. It just flattens right yep. out again, so it's right. not doing the job. Right. So that wouldn't be good for that flat foot. Uh, they make half of... Like this is just a half of insert. It doesn't right. go to the forefoot, which may be good if we put Ryan's foot on there and we look. It does offer some support, but put Very some weight little. through there. Yeah, he's it, kind of, it's still not correcting. Right. Him. So even though. This one doesn't pass what we call the squish test. Yeah. So if you, if you can squish it down like this, it's not providing you enough support. Right. And, you know, I guess it might, if you wear it and it feels really good, and maybe your arch is different than Ryan's, it might be good for you. That's why you really have to try these out. Um, so then the next option, and this is the one I often look for with myself and right. my patients, it's called a semi-rigid. It's not hard, although it's stiff in there, and there's a plastic uh, support, but you can bend it, and it flexes, so it's semi-rigid. Now put your foot up on there, Ryan, and so right now I can put my finger under there, put some weight through there, Ryan, and it, it, it's semi-rigid, so it does flatten, but it, do you feel the difference on that, Ryan? Yeah, yeah. you can see it's For still sure. providing some support. Right. Yeah. And, and this may not be rigid enough yet. It depends on, I always say, put them in, walk around with them, and if it feels like good support, it's good support. If it feels like there's a big bump and it's pushing into your foot, I would say no. Yeah, and you, what you want, it, it should feel good immediately. Right. This isn't something that you work into, that mm -hmm. eventually it's going to feel better. No, it should feel better the day you are at the store. Right. I mean, I, I was yeah, I was at a shoe store once with my daughter in high school. She was in high school, and she's flat-footed, just like Ryan. And we were putting on shoes, and we had – this was the uh, the cushion – not the cushion shoe, but the, the shoe made for flat-footed person. Sure. And she put it on. She says, it just feels uncomfortable right in there. And the salesperson said, well, yeah, that's what it'll feel at first, but it'll right. get better over time. No, no, and no, I no, said, no. no. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not going to spend money on these. And then oh, two weeks later, I'm sure she would say, it's still, I mean, because she was right. running. It was an impact. It thing. might even be worse. Right. It might get right. worse over time. So um, no, it should definitely feel good. At the time, right, right away. Right. Oh, it was the motion control shoe. Motion control. Uh, yeah. Which had, there's research on that, that the motion control shoe, which is supposedly made for a flat foot, oftentimes aren't what they're put out to be. So, again, try them on, and they should feel good. Yeah, it should be personal experiments. Right. I mean, it, I mean, it, it has to work for you just because someone said it should yeah. work for you. Don't agree with that. Right. Try it on. So I, I highly advise going to a good shoe store and actually trying them on, walking around. And you're going to be there for a while. It's just nothing you go in, buy, and, and leave. 
So uh, take care of your feet and take some time. If you're a runner, them. I always like to run around the store a little bit. Some of them have treadmills. Yeah, maybe, but, yeah. Uh, but, uh, I've always, they should always have a treadmill. I was at one store once. There's a bigger place up in the mall, up in the cities in that Minnesota land. Yeah. Yeah, they had a, a little track. Yeah, You cool. could run around. It was kind of neat. Yeah, that's that's what you should have. I wished so. I was in the market for shoes that day, but yeah. I wasn't. Oh. So. All right, Ryan, do you have anything else to say? Yeah, no. Ryan. <laughs> Say happy birthday. Yeah, happy birthday yeah, to myself. Thank you. Thank what, you. What, what should, hey, did, we were talking on the way up this yeah. morning. We're going to open up a restaurant. Okay. <laughs> it was Ryan and Brad's. Eat and barf. Yeah. Eat and barf. <laughs> we'll provide their, their own barf bags. That'll there. probably be uh, <laughs> accurate. These are things you talk about with your 15-year-old nephew. <laughs> You're getting bored on your own. But it was, it was funny at the time. All right. It's not funny now. Thanks for watching. <laughs>